be an amazing day, and here's why. Um, because today, all you have to do is just be yourself. But also confident. That's important and interesting, easy to talk to, approachable, but mostly just be yourself. You know, that's, the big, that's number one. Just be yourself. Be true to yourself. <laughs> Also, though, don't worry about whether your hands are going to get sweaty for no reason and you can't make it stop no matter what you do because they're not going to get sweaty. So I don't even know why you're bringing it up because it's not going to happen because you're just, all you have to do is just be yourself. I'm not even going to worry about it, though. I mean, seriously, it's not, like, it's not going to be like the time you get the perfect chance to introduce yourself to Zoe Murphy at the jazz band concert last year when you waited afterwards to talk to her and tell her how good she was and you were going to pretend to be like super casual, like you didn't even know her name. Like, she would introduce yourself and you'd be like, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Chloe. You said your name was Chloe. And she'd be like, no, it's Zoe. I said Zoe. And you'd be like, oh, see, I thought you said Chloe because I don't even, I'm just very busy with other stuff right now. <laughs> But then you didn't even end up saying anything to her anyway because you were scared that your hands were sweaty, which they weren't that sweaty until you started worrying that they were sweaty, which made them sweaty. So then you put them on the hand dryer in the bathroom, and then they were still sweaty. They were just very warm now as well. So, you just decided not to eat last night? Oh, I, I, I wasn't hungry. You're a senior in high school. Evan, you need to be able to order dinner for yourself while I'm at work. You can do it all online now. You don't have to talk to anyone on the phone. I know you don't like the phone. Okay, but see, that's not true, actually. You have to talk to the delivery person when they come to the door. And then they have to make change. You have to stand there while it's silent and they're counting the change. This is what you're supposed to be working on, Evan. With Dr. Sherman, talking to people, engaging with people, not running away from people. You're right. I'm going to be a lot better. No, I know. I know you are. And that's why I made you an appointment with Dr. Sherman for this afternoon. I'll pick you up right after school. Uh, I already have an appointment next week. And I thought maybe you could use something a little bit sooner. <coughs> Have you been writing those letters he wants you to do? Letters to yourself? The pep talks? Dear Evan Hansen, this is going to be a good day, and here's why. Have you been doing those? Oh, I started writing one. I'll finish it at school. Those letters are important, honey. They're going to help you build your confidence, seize the day. I guess. <laughs> I don't want another year of you sitting at home on your computer every Friday night telling me you have no friends. Neither do I. <coughs> Can we try to have an optimistic outlook? Huh? Can we buck up just enough to see the world won't fall apart? Maybe this year we decide we're not giving up before we've tried. This year we make a new start. Hey, I know. You could go around today and ask for the other kids to sign your cast. How about that? Be the perfect icebreaker, wouldn't it? Perfect. <laughs> I'm proud of you already. Oh, good. Another stellar conversation with a scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm reaching for the right thing to say. Well, I'm kind of coming up empty. I already said I'd go tomorrow. I'm trying to find a compromise here. You gonna get involved here? You're too busy on your email, Larry? You have to go to school, Connor. Oh, that's all you're gonna say. What do you want me to say? He doesn't listen. Look at him. He's not listening. He's probably high. He's definitely high. Fuck you! Fuck you! Do not need you picking at your brother right now. That is not constructive. Are you kidding? Besides, he's not high. <laughs> I don't want you going to school high. Connor, we have talked about this. Perfect. So then I won't go. Thanks, Mom. Another masterful attempt ends with disaster. Interstate's already changed. For another cup of coffee and watch it all. Crash. It's a puzzle. It's a maze. I try to steer through it a million ways. But each day is another hard turn. I better head out. If Connor's not ready, I'm leaving without
productive. I did three internships and 90 hours of community service. I know. Wow. Even though I was so busy, I still made some great friends. Er, well, acquaintances, more like. Oh, well, do you want to maybe, uh, I, I don't know if you had to, do you want to sign my class? Oh my god, what happened to your arm? Oh, uh, uh, I broke it, I was climbing a tree. Oh really? My grandma broke her hip getting into the bathtub in July. That was the beginning of the end, the doctor said, because then she died. Happy birthday! Is it weird to be the first person in history to break their arm from jerking off too much? Or do you consider that an honor? Wait, but that, 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 I wasn't like, sure, so you're in your bedroom, you got Zoe Murphy's Instagram up on your weird off-brand cell phone. That's not what happened, obviously! I, uh, I was, uh, well, I was climbing a tree and then I fell. You fell out of a tree? What are you, like, an acorn? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, I don't know if you know this, but I worked this summer as an apprentice park ranger at Ellison State Park. I'm sort of a tree expert now. Uh, not to brag, but... Anyway, uh, I tried to climb this 40-foot-tall oak tree. And then you fell. Uh, well, it's, a, it's actually it's a funny story because there was this solid 10 minutes after I fell where I just laid there on the ground waiting for someone to come get me. And any second now, I kept saying to myself, any second now, here they come. <laughs> Did they? Done. Uh, no. <laughs> Nobody came. That's the, That's what's funny. Jesus Christ. Uh, how, uh, what did you do? I'm sorry, you had a good summer? Well, my bump dominated and captured the flag. And I got the second base below the bra, this girl from Israel who's like gonna be in the army, so... Yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, do you want to sign my cast? Why are you asking me? Well, j I thought because we're friends. We're family friends. It's like a whole different thing, and you know it. Tell your mom to tell my mom I was nice to you, or else my parents won't pay for my car insurance. I will. Hey, Connor! Love my new hair, Lang. Very school shitter chic. I was kidding. It was a joke. Yeah, no, it's funny. I'm laughing, can't you tell? <laughs> Am I not laughing hard enough for you? <laughs> You're such a freak. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? What? Stop fucking laughing at me. I'm not. You think I'm a freak? No, I'm, I'm not, not the freak. freak. I was You're the fucking freak. Start believing. 
person in the computer lab, so you wrote this and you printed it out so that I would find it. Why would I do that? So that I would read some creepy shit you wrote about my sister and freak out, right? No. And then you can tell everyone that I'm crazy, right? No. Wait, I mean, wait, I need that back. Can you, can you please give it back? A letter to yourself? What the crap does that even mean? It's like some kind of sex thing? <laughs> no, it's not a sex thing. It's, it was an assignment. Why are you talking to me about this? I don't know who else to talk to. You're my only family friend. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to do. He stole the letter from me three days ago, and then he just... He, he hasn't been at school since. That does not bode well for you. What is he going to do with it? Who knows? Connor Murphy is batshit out of his mind. Remember when he threw a printer at Mrs. G in second grade because he didn't get to be lying to that day? Do you think he's going to show the letter to other people? Oh! He's going to ruin your life with it! For sure! I mean, I would. On the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass Waving through the window uh, Good morning. Is Mr. Howard... I just saw it. They said on the loudspeaker for me to go to the principal's no, office. Mr. Howard, is, uh, he stepped out. Oh, we want to speak with you in private. If you'd like to, maybe. We're, uh, we're Connor's parents. Why don't you go ahead, honey? I'm going as fast as I can. That's not what I said, is it? This is a... Connor, he wanted me to have this. We didn't, we... We never heard your name before. Connor never. And then we saw Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah. He gave this to you? We didn't know you two were friends. Friends? But we didn't think Connor had any friends. And then we see this note, and it seems to suggest pretty clearly that you and Connor were, or at least for Connor, that he thought of you as... I mean, it's right there! Dear Evan Hansen, it's addressed to you. He wrote it to you. You can... <laughs> And you think that Connor wrote this to me? These are the words he wanted to share with me. His last words. This is what he wanted you to have. Oh, I'm sorry, what do you mean last words? Connor, uh, Connor. Connor took his own life. <laughs> what? And this is all we found with him. We had it folded up in his pocket, and you could see that he was that he was trying to explain it. Why? I wish that everything was different. I wish I were a part of something. I wish what I said mattered please, to anyone. Please stop it there. Oh, but that's... This isn't... I'm sorry. Connor did... 
Connor didn't write this. What does that mean? Connor didn't. He, he didn't write this. What does he mean? He's obviously in shock. Yes, no, it's I right here. Did he say it? This is not the time. This is all we have. This is the only thing we have left. Honey, Cynthia, Cynthia, uh, you should you should take it, please. Larry, look, his cast. <laughs> Most dearest friend. Holy shit! I didn't say anything. I couldn't say anything. Holy fucking shit! They invited me for dinner. They want to know more stuff about Connor and me about our friendship. Still can't believe the terrible news about at Connor Murphy. What are you gonna tell them? I mean the truth. I wouldn't say that we were friends exactly. More like acquaintances. The truth. Really? You're gonna go to the Murphy's house and explain that the only thing they have left of their son is some. Weird sex letter that you wrote to yourself. We were in chemistry together, I'm pretty sure. You know, you can go to jail for this if you get caught. But I didn't do anything. He was also, he was in my English class in 10th grade. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Evan, but you may have already perjured yourself. Isn't that only when you're under oath, like in a courtroom? Well, weren't you under oath? In a way? <laughs> no. Definitely in my English class. Look, do you want to listen to me, or do you want to have another meltdown? Like last year in English, you gave that speech about Daisy Buchanan, but instead you just stood there staring at your note card saying, uh, 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 over and over again like you were having a brain aneurysm. Well, what do you expect me to do, just keep lying? I didn't say lie. All you have to do is just nod and confirm. Whatever they say about Connie, you just nod your head and say, yeah, that's true. Don't contradict, and don't make shit up. It's foolproof. Literally nothing I tell my parents is true, and they have no idea. <laughs> Three days ago, Connor Murphy was here, and now, <coughs> now he's gone. They were so sad. His parents, his mom, was just... I've never seen anyone so sad before. Well, then, good thing you're about to tell the truth about your sex letter. I'm sure that'll cheer her right up. If Connor meant something to you, please retweet. Or private message me if you just want to talk. At times like these, we could all use a friend. Would anyone else like more chicken? I think you're the only one with an appetite there. The Harris has brought it over. Did Connor tell you about the Harrises? <laughs> We used to go skiing together, our families. <laughs> Connor loved skiing. Connor hated skiing. <laughs> well, right, that's what I meant, is that Connor loved talking about how much he hated skiing. Has <laughs> he hung out a lot? <laughs> Pretty much. Where? Oh, you mean like where did we... Um, well, we mostly hung out at my house. Sometimes we would come to his house if no one else was here. We would email a lot, though, mostly. That way, we wouldn't have to, uh, he'd always want to hang out in person, you know? We looked through his emails. There aren't any from you. Well, no, of course, yeah. I mean, that's because, uh, he had a different account, a secret account. I should have said that before. That was probably very confusing. Why was it secret? Uh, well, just that no one else could, it was more private, I guess, that way. He knew you read his emails. He knew somebody had to be the bad guy. Okay, the weird thing is, the only time I ever saw you and my brother together is when he shoved you at school last week. He shoved you? No, I, uh, I tripped. I, I was there. I saw the whole thing. He pushed you hard. Oh, I remember now. That, that was a misunderstanding because he, he didn't want us to talk at school, and I tried to talk to him at school. It, it wasn't that big a thing. It was my fault. Why did he want you to talk to him at school? Uh, he didn't really want people to know we were friends. I guess he was embarrassed a little. Why would he be embarrassed? Uh, well, I guess he thought I was sort of a, you know. A nerd? So, oh, isn't that what you meant? A uh, loser, I was going to say, actually, but nerd works too. <laughs> <laughs> Connor wasn't very nice. Well, Connor was very nice, so that makes sense. Connor was... He was a complicated person. No, Connor was a bad person. Oh, There's a difference. Please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with me. He refuse to remember any of the good things. He because there were no good things. What were the good things? I don't want to have this conversation in front of our guests. What were the good things, Mom? Tell me. There were good things. I remember a lot of good things about Connor. <laughs> like what? Oh, I never 
never mind. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I want to hear what you have to say. Please. 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 That's something good that I remember about Connor. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking about. That day at the apples, um, <laughs> the apples place. Uh, anyway, it's, I knew it was stupid. I don't even know why. Who took up. you to the orchard? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, once. It was just that once, but he said the apples there were the best. Well, I thought that place closed. <laughs> exactly, which is why we were so bummed when we got there, because it was kind of, it's completely closed down now. We used to go to the orchard all the time. We do picnics there, remember that, so we... Yeah, I do. You and Connor had that little toy plane that you would fly. Until you flew it into the creek. Oh, that was an emergency landing. I can't believe you took you there. I bet that was fun. I bet you too. I bet you got fun.
suddenly feel the branch give way. Come on, girl. There it goes now. I look around. And I see him. Come again. He's coming again. This summer? I've scaled, son. You would do that <laughs> for two grand? Two thousand dollars? Five hundred? I can give you twenty? Fine, but you're a dick. <laughs> hey, you. I have some very exciting news. Look what I found online today. College scholarship essay contests. Have you heard of these? I think so. NPR did a whole thing about it this morning. There are a million different ones you can do, a million different topics. I spent my whole lunch break looking these up. <laughs> the John F. Kennedy Profile Encouraged Scholarship, $3,000. College of your choice. And I dated the Rose Society, $5,000. Wow. <sighs> College is going to be so great for you. Honey, I mean, how many times in life do you get the chance to just start all over again? Uh, no, no, I don't. You've got so much, so many wonderful things ahead of you. I mean, high school is an awful place. The only people that like high school are cheerleaders and football players, and those people all end up miserable anyway. <laughs> yeah. You were going to find yourself in college. I really think so. I wish I could go with you. <laughs> I just... I thought these were, well, seemed like a neat idea. Oh, it is, for sure. Well, you've always been a wonderful writer. We're going to need all the help we can get for college. Unless your stepmother has a trust fund for you that I don't know about with all those fabulous tips she made cocktail waitressing. Hey, I am. I got an email from your school today uh, about a boy who uh, killed himself. Connor Murphy? I didn't, I had no idea. Um, yeah, well, I didn't really know. Hey, 
You know that if you ever, if you ever want to talk about any, I realize that lately it must feel like I'm always working or I'm in class. It's fine. Well, I'm here. And if I'm not here, here, then I'm a phone call away, text, email, whatever. Thanks. Okay, it says Connor. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> so you didn't know uh, no, it. No, no, I didn't. This is, it's, it's, it's a different Connor. I was so worried. No, no, I'm sure. Hey, you know what? How about I bag my shift next Tuesday? When's the last time we did Taco Tuesday? Oh, uh, uh, you don't have to. No, oh, come on. You've been back at school a week already. I've barely seen you. Maybe we could even start brainstorming those essay questions together. Hmm? That would be great. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited now. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Me too. <laughs> you okay on refills? Yes. Well, don't stay up too late. I will. I love you. I love you too. Dear Evan Hansen, we've been way too out of touch. Things have been crazy and it sucks that we don't talk that much. But I should tell you that I think of you each night. I rub my nipples and start blowing with delight. Take this seriously. Okay, you need to calm yourself. This has to be perfect. These emails have to prove that we were actually friends. I have to be completely realistic. There's nothing unrealistic about the law of one man feels for another. <laughs> in fact, someone said there's something quite beautiful. Let's go back, Jared. I gotta tell you, life without you has been hard. Hard? Has been bad. bad. Has been rough. Kinky. And I miss talking about life and other stuff. Very specific. Shut up. I like my parents. Who says that? I love my parents, but each day is another fight. If I stop smoking drugs, then everything might be alright. Smoking drugs? <laughs> I just mix it. This isn't realistic at all. It doesn't even sound like con. I wanted to show that I was like a good friend, that I was trying to help them, you know? Oh my god! If I stop smoking crack, crap. If I stop smoking pot, then everything might be alright. I'll take your advice. I'll try to be more nice. I'll turn it around. Wait and see. It's all it takes is a little pre-invention. It's easy to change if you get it. Your attention. All you gotta do is just believe. Just show them one email. Hey, please stop hyperventilating. I'm not hyperventilating. Considerable trouble breathing. Did you need a paper? I'm not hyperventilating. Dear Connor Murphy, yes, I also miss our talks. Stop doing drugs, just try to take deep breaths and go on walks. Oh. I'm sending pictures of the most amazing trees. <laughs>
difficult to read these. It doesn't sound like Connor. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I oh, no, 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 no. It's just... Oh, my gosh. I can't remember the last time I heard him laugh. But you too, you just, you just... Oh, yeah, we would. We laughed all the time. Oh, there are more of these? More emails? More? Yeah, there are a lot more. We would love to see them. We'd love to see everything, wouldn't we? Why are you here? Zoe, when do you see what Evan brought us? Emails from your brother? How was your first day back? Terrific. All of a sudden, everyone wants to be my friend. I'm the dead kid's sister, didn't you know? I'm sure they mean that. Uh, I should probably go. You're not staying for dinner. Oh, uh, I hadn't planned on it. We could do it another night. <laughs> I could cook something for you. Uh, you don't have to. It would be my pleasure. We would love to have you. Why don't I show you out? Oh, thanks. Oh, so how was Ben today? I, I bet they're happy to have you back, huh? I really don't have to do this, okay? Do what? Just because Connor isn't here trying to punch through my door, screaming at the top of his lungs that he's going to kill me for no reason, that doesn't mean that all of a sudden we're the fucking Brady Punch. We are all grieving in our own way. I know how much you miss your brother. We all do. You can read these when you're ready. Such a great son and wonderful friend. Oh, don't the tears just pour? I could curl up and hide in my room. There in my bed, still sobbing tomorrow. I could give in to all of the gloom. Tell me, tell me what for? Why should I have a heavy heart?
That's just what happens when you're rich and don't have a job. You get crazy. <laughs> Uh, my mom always says, it's better to be rich than poor, so. <laughs> Your mom's probably never been rich then. You've probably never been poor. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. I am so sorry, that was completely rude. Wow, I didn't realize you were actually capable of saying something that wasn't nice. No, I'm not. I never say things that aren't nice. I don't even think things like that. I'm just, I am really sorry. I was impressed. You're ruining it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. I could tell her 
without me. Oh, you what? I didn't mean to. It just happened. I can't believe you tried to kiss Zoe Murphy on her brother's bed after he died. <laughs> hey, asshole, aren't you going to say anything? Is that a button with Connor's face on it? I'm selling them for a nominal fee at lunch tomorrow. You're making money off of this? I'm not the only one. Haven't you seen the wristbands with Connor's initials on them at Sabrina Patel started selling during free period? With the t-shirts that Matt Holzer's mom made? Uh, what am I going to do about Zoe? Are you kidding? After last night? You can never walk into that house again. Besides, this whole Connor thing, in a few days it'll be played out anyway. But you just said about the t-shirts and the wristbands. Exactly. We're at the peak, which is why I gotta move these buttons before the bottom drops out on the Connor Murphy memorabilia market. Because pretty soon there'll be some third world tsunami to raise money for, and Connor will just be that dead kid whose name no one remembers. That's... that's terrible. Hey, at least it was fun while it lasted. You got to have some quality time with your fake family snuggle with Zoe Murphy. That, that's not why I was doing it. I was trying to help them. I just... I just wanted to help them. Regardless, bro, it's over. A week from now, everybody will have already forgotten about Connor. You'll say... Everybody has forgotten about Connor. A week ago, the whole school was wearing those wristbands and the buttons with his face on them. People were talking to each other that had never talked to each other before. And now it's all gone. Completely. You were his best friend. You can't let this happen. I know. Maybe you could ask Zoe to do something. Or maybe you guys could do something together. Zoe? Yeah, she's the perfect person to help get people interested again. You guys could write something for the blog. Oh, uh, well, it just, um, I don't know if that's the best way for us to get people to remember him. Well, I can guarantee you that if you don't do something, then no one will remember him. Is that what you want? But I'm just... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Why don't you talk to Zoe? You can't talk to Zoe. I already ruined everything with Zoe. Says who? Jared? Why are you even talking to Jared about this? Who else am I supposed to talk to? You can talk to me. Unless you have other options. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Look, Zoe, my parents, they need you. You are the only person who can make sure everybody doesn't just forget me. All right. They already did after two whole weeks. And once they've forgotten about me, what do you think happens to you? I mean, nobody cares about people like us. People like us? Connor Murphy? The kid who threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade? Or Evan Hansen? The kid who stood outside a jazz band concert trying to talk to Zoe Murphy, but his hands were too sweaty. You know, people like that? Look, guys like you and me, we're just the losers who keep waiting to be seen. Right? I mean, no one seems to care or stops to notice that we're there, so we get lost in the in-between. But if you can somehow keep them thinking of me and make me more than an abandoned memory, well, that means we matter too. It means someone will see that you are there. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one should come and go and have no one know he was ever even here. No one deserves to disappear. To disappear. Disappear. That's true. And even if you've always been that barely in the background kind of guy, you still matter. And even if you're somebody who can't escape the feeling that the world's past you by, you still matter. You never get around to doing some remarkable thing. That doesn't mean that you're not worth remembering. The people who need to know. So you need to I show need to yeah. show that no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one.
to showing that everybody should matter. Everybody is important. I am so honored. I would love to be vice president of the Cotter Project. Vice president? You're right, we should be co-presidents. Uh, no, yeah, definitely, that works for me. You could be treasurer or secretary. Unfortunately, the co-president position has already been filled. Well, shit. I guess we're gonna have to order new buttons. Yes, I think I could squeeze the words Cotter Project onto the old ones. I mean, depending on the font size. Do you actually think we should do this? Are you kidding? Evan, we have to do this. Not just for Connor, for everyone. Because no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to be forgotten. We're calling it the Connor Project. The Connor Project? Imagine a major online presence. With links to educational material. A massive fundraising drive to help people like Connor. And for the kickoff event, in all school memorial assembly next week. Students, teachers, whoever wants to, can get up and talk about Connor. Talk about his legacy. I don't know what to say. I didn't realize Connor meant this much to people. Oh my god. He was one of my closest acquaintances. <laughs> he was my lab partner in chemistry, and we presented together on Huck Finn in 10th grade. He was so funny, he kept calling it, well, instead of Huck Finn. <laughs> Nobody else in our class thought of that. Uh, for the assembly, I was thinking maybe the jazz band could do something. Oh yeah, maybe. Great idea, Evan. Thank you, Jared. No sweat. Evan, this is just... <coughs> this is wonderful. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fail. No one deserves... I took him to get him suits and shirts and tie him. He didn't get invited to a single one. I thought that you could wear this tomorrow for your speech. My what? I thought I said that anyone who wanted to would have a chance to say something tomorrow. I think we all assumed that you'd be the first to sign up. Uh, I just... I don't really do very well with them. With public speaking, I, I'm not very good at it. You wouldn't want me to. Of Trust course, me. I would want you to. I'm sure the whole school wants to hear from you. I know Larry and I do, and Zoe. Think about it.
and faculty, I would... Um, uh, I would just like to say a few words to you today about... My best friend. Connor Murphy. Uh, uh, I'd like to tell you about the day that we went to the old Autumn Smile Apple Orchard. Connor and I, we stood under an oak tree and Connor said he wondered what the world would look like from all the way up there. Uh, so we decided to find out. Um, we started climbing slowly, one branch at a time. When I finally looked back, we were already 30 feet off the ground. Connor just looked at me and smiled that way he always did. And then, well, uh, then I, uh, uh, I felt. I lay there on the ground, and then, uh, good morning students and faculty. <laughs> uh,
my speech? People started sharing it, I guess, and now, I mean, Connor is everywhere. Your speech is everywhere. This morning, the Connor Project page, it only had 56 people following it. How many does it have now? 4,586. 16,239. I, I don't understand.
Connor loved trees. Connor was obsessed with trees. <laughs> he and Evan used to spend hours together sitting at the orchard, looking at the trees, being with the trees, <laughs> sharing fun facts they knew about the trees. But the one thing that Connor wished more than anything was that someday the orchard would be brought back to life. Which is where you come in. Because today we are starting a major One of the most ambitious Kickstarter initiatives since the internet was first created <laughs> to raise gold. $50,000. $50,000 in three weeks. It's a lot of money, I know, but it's also a lot of amazing. So let's do it, guys, and make the, the Connor, Connor Murphy Memorial, Memorial Orchard not, not just a dream, dream but, but a reality. <laughs> set on the emails for right now are sort of focusing on bigger stuff, the orchard, things like that. Oh, well I could definitely do more if the Kickstarter, I mean I am the treasurer. Uh, yeah, you know, I think Alana and I are good on that. I'll let you know if I can think of anything, though. Got it. Hey, I bet Zoe's happy your cast is gone? I guess. I mean, talk about killing the mood, right? Having to see your brother's name written on your boyfriend's arm all the time? I'm not I don't know what we are. Don't even worry about it, bro! The only thing you should be worrying about right now is building that orchard for Connor. Because if there was one thing about Connor, the guy loved trees. <laughs> or wait, you love trees. That's weird. Isn't that weird? What are you up to? Uh, nothing much. I feel like every time I come into your room, you shut your computer screen. Not really. I don't know what you do on there that you don't want me to see. I was doing homework, huh? Do you have a minute? Uh, well, actually, I was just about to go to Jared's. Didn't you go to Jared's last night? Uh, yeah, we're doing a Spanish project together. We're gonna be working late again, though, so I I'll probably just stay over. I saw the strangest thing on Facebook today. Oh, really? Yeah, this was a video from something called the, uh, Connor Project. Have you heard of that? Because their website, it says you're the president. <laughs> President? Uh, yeah, this was a video of you doing a speech about that boy, Connor Murphy, how you climbed a tree together. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I you told me you didn't know him, that boy. I know, but... And in your speech you said he was your best friend. Well, because it wasn't true when I... When I said I didn't know him. So, you broke your arm with him at an orchard. You told me you broke your arm at work, at the park. Well, who, who do you think drove me to the hospital? Who do you think waited with me in the emergency room for three hours? You were at work, remember? I couldn't even, you didn't answer your phone. You told me your boss took you to the hospital. Well, so, I lied, obviously. When did you ever plan on telling me any of this? Or you weren't? When would I tell you? When are you even here? I am here, right now. One night a week. Most people, their parents, they try to do a little bit better than that, just so you know. Isn't that lucky for them? I have to go to jail. I don't think I want you going out right now, actually. I told Jared I'd be in his house ten minutes ago. All right, listen. I am missing class tonight so that I can be here to talk to you, Evan. I would like you to please talk to me. Okay, well, I can't just not do work for school because you decided to miss class. I can't just drop everything whenever you decide it's convenient for you. All right, I don't understand what is going on with you. Nothing is going on You're with you. You're standing up in front of the 
the school and giving speeches? You're president of a group? Evan, I don't even know who that person is. Uh, you're making a big deal. What is going on with you? You need to talk to me. You need to talk to me. I don't know what you want me to say. I am your mother. I'm your mother. I'm your mother. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy you had a friend, sweetheart. I'm just, I am so sorry he's gone. I just wish that I had known. Do you ever want to talk about it? I should go. Uh, you okay on refills? Uh, I'm not, I'm not taking them anymore. Oh. I haven't needed them. Really? So... No anxiety, or we do with everything that's been made. I've been fine. Well, great. That's great. I'm proud of you. I guess those letters to yourself must have really helped, huh? I guess so. Well, don't stay up too late. It's a school night. I won't. Brooks Robinson? Oh, yeah. Well, Jim Palmer. Oh, who's the entire 1916? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Well, you get the right people to come to an auction like this, you know. Baseball fans, you can raise a thousand bucks for the orchard easy. Oh, no, it's a great idea. I'm definitely going to talk to a lot about it. I swear I have a Cal Ripken in here somewhere. This is really generous of you to donate all this stuff. Mom says she's starting your show in five minutes with or without you. Don't tell them I'm busy. What? Uh, your dad had a good idea for the orchard to do an auction. Well, Evelyn just helped me go through my collection here. Dad, are you torturing him? <laughs> what? Evan, is he torturing you? No, what? You could tell him he's being boring and that you want to leave. Would he he can leave that? whenever he wants. I don't want to leave. Evan, do you want to well, leave? If you want to leave! I want to leave! <laughs> okay. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Women, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you and Zoe. This stuff is really cool. Why? Wow. You feel how stiff the leather is? Oh, okay, for sure. It's never been used. You probably have your own glove at home, I'm sure. Oh, um, uh, somewhere. I don't know if it's anymore. It's been a while. You know what? Why don't you take this one? Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? Because it sounds like... I mean, if you need a new glove anyway, this one's just going to sit here collecting dust. Are you sure? I bought this glove a thousand years ago for some birthday or some Christmas that is coming and gone. I thought we might play catch or... I don't know. But he left it in the bag with the tag still on. You have to break it in though first. You can't catch anything with it this stiff. How do you break it in? Well, your dad never taught you how to break in a baseball ball? I guess not. Well, it's all a process that is really quite precise. A sort of secret method known to very few. So, if you're in the market for professional advice, well, today could be a lucky day for you. Shaving cream. Shaving cream? Yeah, you rub that in for about five minutes, then you, you tie it all up with rubber bands, you put it under your mattress, then you sleep on it, and the next day you repeat. Now, you got to do this for at least a week every day. Consistent. And though this method isn't easy, every second that you spend is going to pay off. It'll pay off in the end. It just takes a little patience, it takes a little time, a little perseverance, and a little uphill climb. You might not think it's worth it, you might begin to doubt, but you can't take any shortcuts. You gotta stick it out, and it's the hard way, but it's the right way, the right way to break in a glove. And nowadays, your generation. Like, that, I hate to say it, it's all about instant gratification, 
right? Who wants to read a book when they can read the Facebook? <laughs> totally. <laughs> but with something like this, you got to be ready to put in the work and make the commitment. Okay, <laughs> and what do you think? I mean, definitely. Some people say just use a microwave or try that running through hot water technique. You do the hard thing. Because that's the right thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the right thing. Carter was really lucky to have a dad. But dad who cared so much about taking care of stuff. <laughs> Your dad must feel pretty lucky to have a son like you. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Good. Well, if you want to go catch up with Zoe. I don't know why I said that about my dad. It's not true. Um, my parents got divorced when I was seven. My dad moved to Colorado. He and my stepmom, they have their own kids now, so that's sort of his priority. <coughs> Shaving cream, rubber bands, mattress. Repeat. <laughs> Got it. Got it. It's the right way. It's the right way. The right way to break in a glove. Uh, she's class Sunday night, so she won't be home for another few hours. We have the whole house to ourselves. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> we should throw a kicker. You should definitely throw a kicker for sure. Until your mom gets home. In three hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for, um, for coming. You realize I've been asking to come to your house for like weeks and every time you have immediately said no? I know, which is why I appreciate that you're here now. What are all these? Oh, uh, those are good. Um, uh, my mom is obsessed with these college scholarship essay contests she found online. She just keeps oh. printing out more of them. There are so many. I know. I mean, I'd have to win probably a hundred of them to actually pay for college when you have about tuition, housing, books. Your parents. Not really. I'm sorry. Uh, well, hey, I meant to tell you before. We had a meeting with the Connor Project a few days ago, and I think we have a really great strategy for raising um, more money for the orchard. Can we talk? Oh, shit. <laughs> what? No, just... You're breaking up with me, right? That's why you came over here. Breaking up with you? 
dumb. Like, how presumptuous can I get? I don't even know if we're, like, dating officially or whatever, which isn't even... Never mind! Why am I even talking right now? It's fine! You can tell me! I'm not gonna cry or start breaking things! I'm not breaking up with you. Thank you. <laughs>
shit, I completely forgot. Don't worry, I went downtown and handed out the postcards without you. I'm really, really sorry, I must have put the wrong date in my phone. What is your deal, Evan? The Kickstarter deadline is a week from now, and I feel like you're just like a thousand miles away. You haven't made any new videos, you haven't posted on the blog in like forever. Well, I w I've been busy. Busy with what? Just different stuff. How much money do we love to raise? Oh, not much, just $17,000. I'm sure we'll get there. We just need to, you know, keep people engaged. Exactly. That's why I'm putting the emails between you and Connor online. What does that mean? Mrs. Murphy sent them to me. She said there are a ton or two that you'd like to show her a new one every week. Uh, uh that's not... Uh, those conversations are really, they're private. Um, not anymore. They belong to everyone now. I mean, that's the whole point. The more private they are, the better. That's what people want to see. We have a responsibility to our community to show them everything, to tell them the truth. Community? Oh, I'm sending you a list of questions to answer because some of the emails don't make sense. What? Like you've been telling everyone the first time you went to the orchard was the day you broke your arm, but then in other emails you talk about going there together since, like, last hmm. November. Well, uh, that's because I... Those are probably just typos, and it sounds like you're reading into them, like, way too much. You can explain it all when I send the questions. You know how much the community loves hearing from you. Hey! So my parents are out of town this weekend? The last time they used a liquor cab that was like Russia shot in 1997, so... We can drink whatever we want. I can't this week, and I have $17,000 to raise. Remember the Connor Project? You're supposed to be working on this. Uh, remember you told me you didn't need my help? I didn't tell you to do nothing. I know you think this is all just a joke, but it isn't. It's important for Connor. Yes. You know, when you really stop and think about it, Connor being dead, that's pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to you, isn't it? That's a horrible thing to say. Well, no. But think about it. If Connor had died, no one would even know who you are. I mean, people at school actually talk to you now. You're almost popular, which is just wonder of wonders. Miracle of miracles. I don't care about any of that. I don't <laughs> care. People at school know who I am. All I wanted was to have the Murphys. Yeah, I know. You keep saying that. Hey, Jared. Look at you, helping the Murphys. What was that? It's nothing. <laughs> Something smells good. Oh, chicken meal and eggs. 
I didn't realize you were spending so much time here. You've been working a lot. Why did I always think you were at Jared's? I don't know. Evan, you call and tell your mother when you're spending the night, right? Of course. You can rest assured we take very good care of it. We've got, uh, well, he's got his own toothbrush. So we're not sending him to bed with cavities. <laughs> How nice. Um, Evan was showing me all those scholarship contests you found. That was really impressive. There are like a million. Well, Evan is a great writer. I don't find that hard to believe at all. His teacher for English last year said that he wrote one of the best papers she'd ever read about Suva. How about that? It's Suva. What did I say? Sulu. Okay. Well, Sulu's a character on Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Speaking of scholarships. Well, I guess now's as good a time as any. Cynthia, do you want to? Zoe happened to mention to us the other day that Evan was having some difficulty in terms of the the financial burdens of college. Larry and I started thinking about it, and we were very fortunate to have been able to set aside some money for our son. Ah, I'm okay. <laughs> I called you this morning to invite you to come join us for dinner tonight, honey, because, well, first of all, because we want to thank you for allowing your son to have come into our lives. He was a dear, dear friend to our Connor. We've just got the love of the <laughs> With your blessing, we'd like to give Evan the money that we put away for our son so that he can use it to fulfill his dreams just like he helped Connor fulfill his. Wow, that is so I don't I don't know what to say. It'd be such a gift to us if we could do this for Evan. It would be a tremendous gift, Tiny. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> But we're going to be just fine. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but I do have some. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I understand. It's just that we do have money. So I'm, I'm sorry that you were under the impression that we didn't. And whatever money we don't have, Evan will either get a scholarship or he'll go to a, a community college. And... I just... I, I just think that's the best thing for us to do. You know, I don't want Evan to get the idea that it's okay to rely on other people for favors. It's not a favor. Well, but as his mother, I need to set an example for him that you can't expect things from strangers. We're not strangers. No, 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 no. Of course not. Well, thank you for the wine. Let's it was for dinner. No, no. <laughs> no, I think no. I'd better go to work after all. If I had known that Evan was so concerned about our finances, I never would have taken the night off in the first place. <laughs>
that is to believe that they don't think that I'm, that there's something wrong with me that I need to be fixed like you do. Who do I ever said that? I have to go to therapy. I have to take drugs. I am your mother. My job oh, is no, to I take know. care I'm of you. I'm the worst thing that ever happened to you. I, I ruined your life. You are the only... The one good thing that has ever happened to me, Evan. I'm sorry, I can't give you anything more than that. Shit. Well, it's not my fault that other people care. So you found a place where the grass is greener. And you jump the fence to the other side Is it good? Are they giving you a world I could never
I'm not doing this. I'm done. You can't just stop now. I don't think I can live with this anymore. What about my parents? No more emails. How can you do this to them? No more Connor Project, no more Orchard. After everything they've done for you, they need you. <clears throat> need me for what? To keep lying to them? That lie is the only thing that's keeping them together. That's not true. Really? So they seemed like a pretty happy family when you met them? I don't want to lie anymore! What about Zoe? Zoe said she just, she wants me. Right. She likes me for who I am. Except you didn't happen to mention that everything you've told her, it's all been one big fucking lie, did you? Oh, you left that part out. So then what if, what if I did tell her the truth? She'll hate you. No, maybe she would understand. Maybe everyone would understand. Everyone will hate you. Not if I can, if I can explain you it. You will go right back to where you started. With no friends, with nobody, this. nothing, alone! I'm ready to be done with it! If you really believe that, then why are you standing here talking to yourself? Again. You think you're gonna turn around all of a sudden and start telling everyone the truth? You can't even tell yourself the truth. What are you talking about? How did you break your arm? How did you break your arm, Evan? I fell. Really? Is that what happened? Yes. I was... I lost my grip, and then I... I fell. Did you fall? Or did you let go? You can get rid of me whenever you want. You can get rid of all of it. The Connor Project, the Orchard. But then... All that you are going to be left with is you. End of May or early June, this picture perfect afternoon we share. Drive the winding country road, grab a scoop at all the mode, and then. I'm back, and I'm rededicating myself to doing everything I can do to make this work. Too late! I moved on. You moved on? You've made it abundantly clear to me that you're not very interested in being a part of the Connor Project. No, I, I can make more videos. I can write more stuff for the blog. I can do all of that myself. It's not the same. You know it's not the same. People want to hear what I have to say. I was his best friend. You know, frankly, Evan, I'm starting to wonder if that's even true. What do you mean? You keep saying you were best friends. You're like a broken freaking record about it. But nobody ever saw you together. Nobody knew that you were friends. It was a secret. He didn't want to I know the story, Evan. We all know the story. We've all heard it a bazillion times. You've seen the emails. Do you know how easy it is to create a fake email account? Backdate emails? Because I do. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for this. I have to raise $17,000. I can prove it. How? Here. If we weren't friends, why did you write a suicide note to me? Oh my god. Do you believe me now? Dear Evan Hansen. Nobody else has seen this. It turns out this wasn't an amazing day after all. This isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year. Nobody else needs to see this, okay? No, uh, nobody else needs to see it. This is exactly what people need to see. We need something to create new interest. Can you just please delete it now? Don't you care about building the orchard? This is the best way to make Connor's dream come true. No, it isn't. Dear Connor Project Community, Connor's note is a message to all of us. Share it with as many people as you can. Post it everywhere. You need to take it down, please. If you've ever felt alone, like Connor, then please consider making a donation to the Connor Murphy Memorial Orchard. No amount is too small. Connor Murphy's suicide note. This is the actual authentic one. The whole world needs to see this. Share it with everyone you This know. is why the orchard is so important. I just need fifty dollars for the orchard, and I think everyone else should give as much as they can. Repose. His parents present themselves. He wrote his suicide note to Evan Hansen because he knew his family didn't give a shit. His parents, by the way, are insanely rich. Poor share. Like, maybe they should have spent their money on helping their son. Please retweet.
try calling a lot of attention. Oh, some of these are adults. You see their pictures, these are adults. Maybe that's the name Zoe. Hello. Who is it? Who is it, Zoe? Have fun with your miserable life, bye. What's the number? It's blocked. Who cares? What do they send me? It doesn't matter. Do they threaten me? It doesn't matter, Dad. And I'm calling the police. Uh, okay, maybe right now the best thing to do is to just wait to see if this blows over. That's always your solution, isn't it? Just do nothing. Is that what I said? You guys just stop. Well, wait and see. Let's wait and see, right, there. What are police going to do with the internet? They're going to arrest the internet? I had to beg you no. every step of the oh, way. I had to plead with you for therapy for you were rehab. You're marching from one miracle cure to the next. Oh, you with you're with another $20,000. We can yoga and train. Is he actually trying to What was your alternative, alternative other than picking apart everything that I did? Putting him on a program and sticking to it. No, you wanted to punish him. Listen to your daughter there. You treated him like a criminal. Are you listening? Do you think you're any better? You let him do whatever he wanted. Thank you. When he threatened to kill himself the first time, do you remember what you said? Oh, he just wants attention. He myself. was getting better. Ask him and tell him that. Evan, 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 Evan was in denial of what was happening right in front of him. Even now, Larry, read what he said. I wish that everything was different. I did the best I could. I tried to help him the only way I know how. That's not good enough. He was better. He was trying. And he was failing. He failed him. No, you didn't. You didn't fail him. Look what he wrote. He didn't write it. I wrote it. You didn't write Connor's suicide note. It wasn't easy. There was an assignment from my therapist. Write a letter to yourself a pep talk. Dear Evan Hansen, today's going to be a good day, and here's why. I don't think I was supposed to bring it to my appointment. Goddard took it from me, and I guess he must have had it with him when you. What are you talking about? We weren't friends. No. 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 I never meant to make you know, such a mess. I never thought that it would go over this far. There were emails. You showed us the emails. So I just stand here. Sorry, searching for something to say. Something to say. To know about the orchard. He took, he took you to the orchard. That's where you broke your arm. I broke my friend Allison Park by myself. No. No, that day at the orchard, you and Connor at the orchard. Words fail. Words fail. There's nothing I. I never had this kind of thing before. I never had that perfect girl who somehow could see the good part of me. I never had the dad who stuck it out. And no corny jokes, no baseball gloves. No mom who just was there because mom was all that she had.
wasn't real. I know. We were happy. I guess I could have let that go. I guess I could have cleared that up. I guess I wanted to. No, I'd rather pretend I'm something better than these broken parts. Pretend I'm something other than this mess that I am. Cause then I don't have to look at it. And no one gets to look at it enough. No one can really see. Cause I learned to stand on the bridge before I even turned the key. I 
can promise you someday all of this, that this will all feel like a very long time ago. I don't know. Dad, do you remember the day that you drove by to get his things? It was a few weeks after he moved out. Temporarily, he said. It was a February day when your dad came by before going away. You haul truck in the driveway. The day it was suddenly real. I told you not to come outside, but you saw that truck and you smiled so wide. A real life truck in your driveway. We let you sit behind the wheel. Goodbye, goodbye. Now it's just me and my little family. And the house felt so big. And I felt so small. The house felt so big. And I felt so small. That night I tucked you into bed. I will never forget how you sat up and said, Is there another truck coming to our driveway? A truck that will take mommy away. And the house fell.
Good. You graduate soon, right? In two weeks. Wow. How's being a senior? Busy. I remember that. How's being a freshman? Oh, um, I actually decided to take a year off. Oh. Yeah, try to save some money, get a job. I'm taking some classes at the community college, so I'll have some credits to transfer in the fall. That's smart. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, though, I can get your friends and family a discount at Pottery Barn. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for overpriced home decor. <laughs> you know, not at the moment. Well, if you change your mind. I'm only working there for a few more months, though, so the window of opportunity is closing fast. <laughs> I always imagine you in Pottery Barn. Even though, obviously. I mean, I've probably driven by it a thousand times. I just, every time I think about getting out of the car, I feel it. Like, uh, like I don't deserve to, I guess. It's nice, peaceful. My parents, they're here all the time. We do picnics, like, every weekend. It's helped them a lot, actually. Having this? They never told anyone about cars. About the note. About who really wrote it. They didn't have to do that. They could have told everyone what I did. Everybody needed it. For something. That doesn't mean it was okay. It saved my parents. Uh, it's weird. I, um, over the fall, I found this uh, yearbook thing that my class made in eighth grade. Most people did like watches of their friends. Uh, Connors was listed as 10 favorite books. I've been trying to read all of them. I know it's not the same thing as knowing him, it's not at all, but I don't know, it's the same thing. It's been hard. It's been a hard year. I know. I've been wanting to call you for a long time. I didn't really know what I would say, but I just, I decided to call anyway. I'm happy you did. I wish we could have met now, today, for the first time. Me too. Well, I should probably... Oh, no, it's of just course. It's exams no, this week. No, totally. Can I ask you, though? Why did, um, why did you want to be here? Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day, and here's why. Because today, no matter what else, Today, at least, you're you. No hiding, no lying, just you. And that's, that's enough. Maybe someday everything that happened, maybe it will all feel like a distant memory. And maybe someday no one will even remember about the Connor project or me. Maybe someday some other kid will be standing here, staring out at the trees, feeling so alone, wondering if the world might be different from all the way up there. Better. Maybe he'll start climbing one branch at a time. And he'll keep 
going. Even when it seems like he can't find another foothold, even when it feels hopeless. Like everything is telling him to let go. <laughs> this time. Maybe this time he won't let go. He'll just hold on. And I'll keep going. I'll keep going until he sees the sun.